This video is way overdue. Hey everybody and welcome back to Drew's Vids and another video. And today's video, like I said, is long overdue. This video it stems from the last live stream I did on this channel and that was back in January. I know, well, like I said, way overdue, right? And during those live streams that I started doing last year into the beginning of this year, which was the one that this package is from and this package, I guess you guys probably saw from then, thumbnail is Ami Ami. And so just speaking of that real quick, those live streams, you know, we all did some online buying together and this one was no exemption. So no except exemption, exception, no exception. And all of you out there helped me pick this figure as well as donate for the figures as well to increase my budget. And I generally went over budget as many of you guys may know. And yeah, this figure basically came from that, right? So shout out to BM Collins 3 for helping me out during that live stream. Gave me a nice rocking explosion of a donation to get this figure right here. I guess that was maybe too many hints. I don't know. To be determined. But this this figure, I don't even know why. I'm, it's, it's not even funny. It's not even remotely funny. I've since talked to them and, you know, about my situation all that and why it's taking so long and I did not want it to take as long as it did nor are these videos that are gonna come out nor all these packages that I'm gonna be opening up so here we are finally doing it and like I said long overdue and you know let's just get right into it this package Ami Ami ordered it back in January it didn't take very long to get here and yeah it's it's a scale figure let's go Grab my knife here. And then we'll get into some of the details in terms of pricing and all that. I don't know how much this figure goes for now. It's October 2021. It's, I mean, I don't know. I guess I could take a look and we'll see what I could find it for now. Because I know we did some price comparison while we were actually looking for this figure. And yeah, I want to say... I want to say it was around 160 bucks, but don't take that word for it. I'm going to look here in just a second after we show you what's in the box and give you some exacts or as close to exacts as I can. But here we go. Ami Ami package. Got some paper in there. They usually do the, the paper here. And oh, there you go. You guys see it, man. Very exciting. Very exciting. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Konosuba. And there we go. There we go. Let's see if there's anything else in this box first before we get into the figure itself. I'm pretty excited to get into that figure. Got more paper. It's just going to clutter the studio up. And then we got a little... At least the year is relevant. That's like... That's something, right? That's something. We got this little kind of yearly pamphlet thing in there. And then on the back, thank you for shopping with us. Pretty cool. We hope your order, we hope your order arrives safely. Yada, yada, yada. They got uh, the support at AmiAmi. Ami. So very good that they included this. So if I have any issues, I could contact support. I wonder if they would deal with me being, you know, what is it? Probably, we'll just exclude the month of January. It's like a seven months, right? I wonder if they would, probably not. All right, so the figure, we're gonna get into the figure. Yes, this figure right here, Mega Man. And this is the Anime Japan 2019 version of her. I think that's what it is. It's the rock version. I know the t-shirt is a Anime Japan 2019 t-shirt she has on, but let's go to open her up because I want to check this figure out. Like I said, if you guys stick around, I will let you know how much it costs and how much it's going for now. And 
that would actually be kind of cool to see how the price has changed. If it's gone down, if it's gone up, if it stayed the same. I think that'd be pretty neat. Don't need that bag. Oh, and these are, it's one of those boxes where you can't really open it from the bottom. I've, oh, I've gotten used to opening my boxes from the bottom just out of habit. And that's generally what I do. But let's take a look at the box real quick. There's not too much in terms of art. So on the top of it here, it just says, you know, Mega Man Rock version. Does it say 1 7 scale? Yep, 1 7 scale. Got the Konosuba logo and a nice window there in the front as well. Not too much going on here in the front nor the sides. Sides are actually, you know, pretty lackluster to be honest with you. I mean, that's cool that they have this here, but, you know, that's what's inside. So there's that. And on the back, it's basically the same. You know, you get a picture of the little keyboard guitar there. That I think that's what you call it. Not quite sure. If you guys know down, let me know. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. And that's one of the things I actually wanted to do is going into these newer sets of videos now. I don't want to cut out as much as I used to. So there will be mistakes made and they will be in the video. So let's go ahead get this figure out of here. Like I say, if you guys know what the keyboard, piano, guitar is called, I hope it's not like a piano guitar because, I mean, I could have just faked it till I made it on that one. I'm not going to though. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what it is. And this is a Katakawa figure. Katakawa figure in the KD Colette line. That's right, KD Colette. That's where it. That's. That's how you say it. <laughs> that's how you say it. And we got tape on the insert here. And if you guys watched the pop up parade video actually it was not the pop-up preview the one where i opened up the sega premium figure video i talked a little bit about the insert being kind of flimsy and this one's actually you know not too flimsy it's it has given it right don't get me wrong but it's it's pretty solid i mean generally with scale figures i wouldn't say ah this is kind of so it's not all scale figures are created equal. However, I think I think you could expect a certain level of quality from scale figures. I know some scale figure companies are known for certain things, right? Like certain ones, the faces are a little, a little off, but the rest of the figure is fantastic. And those are just some things that you kind of got to shop around. I mean, even if the face is a little bit off, if you like the figure in general overall, and it's still nice, then you're gonna end up getting it no matter what, especially if it's, you know, a character you enjoy. And, oh wow, okay, this comes with a lot of things. Ooh, very nice. That's what I'm talking about, okay. All right, here we go. Is this supposed to be uncoiled? Does this have instructions? Let me check. It has to. Pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it does. Yep. Most of the scale figures, you know, bigger figures with multiple accessories do come with a little instruction booklet. And this is just handling instructions, I think. <gasps> Did we get duped? Yeah, we got... Uh, I probably should edit these videos a little bit more. Okay, we just got like some... What is this like safe handling instructions there very good so now I don't know how the figure goes together <sighs> that's okay we'll figure it out because this is very nice level of quality in terms of you know production and paint and all that and I'm sure this is just off for the ability to get around so we'll put that on so this is that little K 
keyboard guitar there. Check this out. Look at the look at the paint on this thing. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's like a metallic purplish purplish purplish. It sounds funny, but it's a metallic man, that is very nice. And like you see like all the individual keys here and then even down here. This could have been like easily just slapped on there, you know, if you got a cheaper figure, it's not going to look nearly as clean as something like this. And as far as the bat goes, not too much going on there. Uh, if you guys own an instrument like this, let me know down in the comments below if that's like a normal kind of look for the back of this instrument. That's, it seems like it's kind of like a guard plate or something to that effect. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting off of it. And it also comes with this, which is a power cord for it. And it's pretty cool, actually. It's got all these little details. I'm not sure if you're supposed to unravel this all the way. Where's the box art? Hold on. Ah, they put the box art in there for a reason. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, you can unravel it. And then, okay. Yeah, you see this here, this wire. Can we can we get that wire? There we go. This wire here that goes up does unravel. And that's what they give you right here. If you can see that, that's the wire there. The power cord, if you would. Very cool. And it's just, you know, thin piece of plastic in the shape of a wire, which will look like a power cord very nice and at some point okay yeah so it just all comes unraveled very good now let's take a look at the figure itself but before that let's take a look at the base so i know i've mentioned before in the past about you know these exaggerated bases that tend to take away from a figure and a figure like this Especially for a character like this. If you guys don't know, Mega Man pretty much speaks for herself. Doesn't really need a whole lot of extra backdrop to get her point across. Uh, I think that's what I'm trying to say. But in terms of bases, like, can't even see. It's just straight clear, clear base. So you're not going to be taken away from the figure. By any means. And speaking of a figure, here we go. <gasps> Very interesting. Okay, so I did not think, I didn't think this was going to be a thing, but it is. And I thought, for some reason in my head, I was thinking, you know, stockings are limited, if you would, for bunny girl figures. Like real fabric stockings but that is not the case because these are fabric so here we go taking a look at the Mega Man rock version as you guys could see there she's got that anime japan 2019 shirt got a nice chain loop there on her belt with these stockings these are legitimate real cloth stockings and then you got these nice big rocking boots there's the back of the figure there and there we go close up on the actual face itself that looks really nice yeah that's a very nice looking figure of Mega Man there as far as paint defects go I'm not I'm not seeing any I'm having a hard time guys I'm looking even like this small stuff, there's there's not a whole lot going on. Like the fingernails are fine. They even did the thumb on the inside. The hand holding the keyboard guitar, all the fingernails are painted. That's usually like one of the things you could look at. It's like, okay, let's take a look at the fingernails because those are real easy to overlook in terms of mistakes or anything like that. But yeah, these are... These are pretty well done and 
I don't see any any overpainting or anything. Wow, that's really good. So take a look at the the paint there on the nails. Hopefully that picks up on camera. There we go. Just the yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me that looks at those things, but I try to have a discerning eye and just kind of notice small things. And, you know, I think I do take a little bit of flack from it from time to time. Not a big deal. However, that's just something, you know, I tend to notice more often than not. Let me get this guitar on. We're just going to refer to it as guitar now just because that's easier, or keyboard, you know, we'll go with keyboard guitar. That is what we're going with, and looks pretty simple. Give me one second. All right, so here she goes on the stand there with the keyboard guitar. I think that looks pretty fantastic. And one of the main reasons I picked up this figure was because at the time I was wanting to put together kind of like an anime figure band, if you would, with some of my favorite characters from different animes and Mega Man was one of them and I also got Mio from K-On playing the bass so we got those two covered let me know down in the comments below if you guys know any kind of music related figures because I still need a lead singer I know a lot of people will say Hatsune Miku but I gotta see what else is out there and we're talking scale figures not necessarily prize figures or you know, something to that effect. I'd like to have, you know, high quality scale figures for this little setup that I'm trying to make, that I've been trying to make. And, you know, we got a very important piece here and that's Mega Man. So we got, I would say, at least a singer. I don't know if there's any kind of scale figures for drum players or a scale figure with characters potentially holding drumsticks or something like that. But that'll be fine. I guess it'd be more of a light music band, if you would, even though rock version Mega Man is pretty fantastic. But I guess I'd kind of throw the light music thing out the window. Either way, I still need a singer at the very least. And let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any ideas on what kind of scale figure you'd like to see for that. Okay, so looking at my email in terms of pricing goes for, for this I guess I paid a little bit more than I thought I did it was 19,210 Japanese yen and that converted to US dollar would be 9,210 yen to USD I could probably cut this out but probably not oh no that's about right for some reason I was thinking I was closer to 200 it was 167 dollars and 91 cents so if I look up real quick Mega Man Rock version. Let's see here how much she's going for in the shopping tab. And all right, I'm seeing her for 189, 209, 168. That's used on eBay. So it looks like she's gone up a little bit as far as retail goes because I got it shipped for 167. And the cheapest I'm seeing not used on eBay is $189.99 and that is at Sure Thing Toys. So this figure says it's in stock too over there. If you guys are interested in this figure I'll leave a link down in the description below to this one from Sure Thing Toys. I've actually bought a figure from Sure Thing Toys before and they didn't disappoint so and they also have free shipping right now all products ship free anywhere within the usa so if you're in the us this figure will ship free yeah that's pretty cool i will like i said leave a link down in the description below to the figure over at sure thing toys if it's something that interests you or if you guys do find a cheaper price for an, the new figure not used on ebay or anything like that you know just drop a comment too and then i'll replace the link with the one that you guys found and that was just you know real quick just looking there on the phone and I forgot to put the little wire on here well I don't know if you can really see this too well but that's how I ended up having to put the wire there for it you guys see it kind of wraps around her leg there and then I got it 
right underneath this boot right here, the end of the coil. And that's because it's kind of just, you know, in that circle. So you got to have it, you know, pretty much lodged somewhere so it doesn't coil back up. And that's probably what I'm going to have to do for now. I don't know if I'll be able to clean that up later at all. Any, We'll see if it kind of straightens out a little bit more. But until then, that's how it's going to be. So that way it just, you know, at least looks like it's kind of out and flowing. And hopefully Mega Man doesn't have to move around too much on stage because she will trip on that wire. Definitely. So there you have it, folks. That was the Rock version Mega Man scale figure. one seventh scale figure from Katakawa. Fantastic figure. Details are immaculate. Paint immaculate. Can't really complain here except for... I can't, I get, I was going to say except for that wire that, you know, coils up after you unwrap it, but that's just being a little ridiculous. I mean, you can't, I don't know. I'm not going to complain about that. So we'll leave it at that. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video.